Hey guys, Gary J here. We're playing with the uh, Vulcan 1500 again. Now, this is an American made company, uh, Grass Hopper Limited. And uh, this is uh, the instructions here. They make uh, backrests for different types of motorcycles too. It gives you kind of a picture of what it looks like there. And, uh, you know, if you buy a backrest for your motorcycle, you're going to pay $200 to $300 for a backrest, right? So that's pretty expensive to me. Now, we take a look at this backrest right here. This is thick, and it feels really good. And uh, this is part of the bracket right here. And uh, the great thing about... Uh, Here's another part of the bracket. This backrest is made to uh, to slide in to your motorcycle, and um, you can pull it straight out too. Generally, so it's one of those types where you can you can leave it in or pull it off in in just a minute. You don't have to take any bolts loose or anything. So this thing is. It looks really good, and this is a, um, a marine vinyl, and it's got really good stitching in it, and uh, you can elect to get one that's got a pocket across here. It's only like $10 more. I didn't get the pocket because I figured it'd probably get rain in it or something. It wasn't a zipper tight pocket, but uh, I paid uh, $75 for this bracket, I mean, yeah, for this uh, backrest right here, 75 bucks. Again, it's marine uh, vinyl. Now, I can tell you, I did buy one uh, a year or so ago off of eBay, and uh, Grasshopper sells these on eBay too. Again, it's an American-made company, and he takes a lot of pride in making parts, and they make, they make them for different motorcycles too. But the one I bought on eBay, was from China. I paid like $125 for it. It, it worked great. Got in a couple of uh, thunderstorms. Got it really wet. And within like three weeks of the Chinese made one, this vinyl right here was like it was sprayed on. It was like a spray on black vinyl. And uh, it was peeling off and the thing looked terrible. and. I had to send it back to the guy. I lost about 50 bucks out of it. I had 130 in it, and uh, so I didn't, I didn't put another one on it. And then I saw this one, and since it's an American-made company, and the guy takes a lot of pride in his work, and I'll give you his website. And uh, this is a high-grade uh, vinyl right here again, marine-type vinyl. So it should last for years and years, and it had a good review on it. And uh, I guess I'm just going to show you how to put this thing on. But it's really sweet. And uh, you really do need a backrest if you travel any distance on the cruiser to me, you know. And I also give you something to anchor down to uh, between your seat, your your back backrest, and, uh, and your uh, passenger backrest. So we'll see how that goes. Now, of course, uh, in order to put this on, you got to take your seat off. And um, I've got a video on the, taking us. So, we got our seat off. Set that there. Now, this is our passenger seat. And uh, recently, I did uh, a video on replacing your turn signals on the rear. So, you got a YouTube video on replacing the turn signals. This is your battery. Right here is your fuse box with your ignition, uh, turn signals, brake signals, uh, horn, accessories, other stuff. There's a box right here for that. This is the 97 1500E series classic. And of course, it's your gas tank. Okay, guys. What you have to do here, now this is your um, back passenger seat right here. Okay, we've got a front seat off. Now there's a bolt 
that holds this on right here. Otherwise, this whole seat would just pull out. Um, it's got little brackets and stuff. So anyway, you take out this bolt right here, and it makes it pretty simple. If you had the bracket on the seat right here, then basically you're going to you see the hole in the bracket for the bolt you can adjust it so you're going to be setting it like this get a view for you you're going to be setting it like this and just put that bolt back in and that's what holds uh, your backrest on okay so that's how simple it is it's just taking out that bolt in the center of your screen and putting this bracket over that putting the bolt back in and bolting that down and then you'll have your seat backrest attached so let's try that had to run to the hardware store this uh hole right here was not quite long enough so i had to cut another uh quarter inch that's all just a quarter inch on the end right here that way it would fit uh, my seat perfect so sometimes even with the bracket they may not be exactly the way you want it to plus once i did that i had to go and uh, buy another bolt here because the one that i had was wasn't made for the extra uh, thickness of the bracket the bracket's about an eighth of an inch so i went and bought a, a, a longer bolt for it and since i was buying a bolt for this to hold that bracket in place for the backrest I went ahead and bought two new boats here, and these are the boats that uh, hold on the the seat, the rear part of the seat. So I thought, well, might as well go ahead and get those two, because my others are, are worn pretty good. So sometimes you got to do that. You got to modify the bracket just a little bit, and maybe you might need a longer boat like I did right here. So now we should be able to put that on. We've got our backrest on. Now really all you're doing uh, on uh, your cycle here is you've got the back seat is held down by this one bolt plus it slides under a groove uh, system underneath there. The back seat, uh, passenger seat uh, slides underneath this thing and holds it. But this is main, the main bolt that holds the front end of your passenger seat down. So you take that bolt out, and this bolt was too short to accommodate this bracket, which is which is a well-made bracket, about an eighth of an inch thick at least, good metal. So I had to go to the hardware store and get a, another bolt that was a little bit longer, like a quarter inch longer, and uh, put the bracket on. And then uh, the rest part right here slides into this bracket. So that wouldn't have, that's that's easy to do. Okay, guys, this is the bracket right here. Now the bracket was coming way up here on the passenger seat, so I had to bend it down a good bit to get it to uh, wedge underneath the seat. And you see, like right here, is where the uh, bolt is. And I've got uh, the end of it right in front of this piece right here across the fender, the hose fender. Anyway, so with this bracket, it had to be, it had to be uh, bent down uh, a good bit in order to get it to go far enough back. Otherwise, the, uh, the seat that you sit on is going to hit this bracket and it's not going to line up with the holes on the side of the uh, bike in order to, to bolt the back of your front seat down. So that bracket has to be bent and pushed back. So I just put the headrest on and just bent it down to get it to go into place. So that's that's how I did that. And so that's what you gotta do. You gotta modify that bracket. For this Model 97, I suppose they gave me the right bracket for it. I'm pretty sure they did. But with some bikes you you have to modify them a little bit. That's kind of a normal thing. And I've got extra 
longer uh, bolt right here to make it for the looks like eighth of an inch thickness of the bracket itself so that seems to be working fine and my seat will fit back on here now and line up so that's one of the things you got to do is bend that bracket so it'll uh, go underneath your seat right here a little bit more it's got to go farther underneath the seat and you see where uh, the bolt is now and you don't have that much gap right there and this is pretty much this is flesh right across here that's kind of the way you want that one if you get that but it will work okay guys this is the way she looks when she's done the uh, backrest I think looks really good on it it's got a kind of half moon shape and uh, it matches the uh, rest of the uh, vinyl really good on the front and rear seat like the way it came and uh remember one of the things about this seat right here you can pull it loose and uh see a little spot right here this is where it goes back in and uh you don't want it to come out too easy but we put it back in the only thing was we had to modify the bracket that holds it in place a little bit. The bracket was kind of like this. And we had to close that gap so it would go farther back in and then bolt it down and then put the backrest on. The backrest was probably like this and then push it all the way back up. That's some pretty heavy steel right there, the eighth of an inch, which it looked like it's about an inch and a half wide. So once you push it back in place where you want it, it's going to stay there. You don't have to worry about it. So that way, if you get a rider, you can take this off if that's uncomfortable. So this is really a great seat for the money. Again, I paid uh, $75 for the seat, $10 shipping, $85 is all I got in it. The bracket, I had to modify it a little bit, but that's not a big deal. And... Uh, Normally you'd pay two hundred to three hundred dollars for a backrest for your motorcycle, and uh, this guy Grasshopper uh, backrest seats he makes them for different types of bikes too. So, and again that's that's marine uh, vinyl, so it should last forever, and it's well made to steel and all of that. So I encourage you to get one if you need a backrest. If you do any long riding or stuff like that, or have any back problems, this can be a real lifesaver especially when you're riding two or three hours or going through the mountains or wherever. Hope this helps y'all guys when it comes to uh, backrest. And uh, check out my other videos on the um, Vulcan on replacing the uh, front uh, turn signals and the uh, rear turn signals and uh, the uh, brake light switch on this model. And, of course, the backrest here now. Have a good day. Take care, guys.